Hi, welcome to Stinkweed MTG. My name is Brendan. Uh, today we're playing Commander as part of our eight-part Commander series. Uh, today I'm playing Hephaestra, Vizier of Poisons. She makes minus one, minus one counters when she attacks players, and also she makes snakes. Uh, my deck is all about making more minus one, minus one counters, put on creatures, make more snakes, go wide, uh, and also destroy stuff as I do. Uh, I've only run one two-card infinite combo, and it doesn't outright win me the game. It's okay. Uh, with Quill Spike and Devoted Druid. It's fine, I guess. Yeah, and things like Blood Artist, like Blood Artist clones. Yeah, it's uh, not, like, not like infinite combos will just win you the game anyway. So. No, no. I, I've realized that Soul Snuffer is actually super good, and I'm running yeah. it. It's like, kind of like a board clear on a stick, but also makes me lots of snakes. It makes me quite sad. Yeah. Oh, this yeah. is a good guard. Today I'm smoking uh, Herringbone. Yeah, this big fatty. And uh, <laughs> some ginger beer, like before, it's my favorite. Yeah. What are you doing, Drew? Uh, as usual, we're playing some shit. Uh, yep. Yeah. So I got this commander at a pre-release, and I liked it, so I did it. Um, your basic mono-white control, I got, like, you know, Ghostly Prison running, got Silent Arbiter, some stuff to just keep me goddamn safe <laughs> for long enough to maybe... I've called this deck White Wiener. <laughs> and the reason I call it White Wiener is because it kind of white weenies around for most of the game until you bring out your schlong here. <laughs> so uh, to make sure I get to schlong point alpha, I have uh, many Wraths. I traded Joe for another one this morning. Yep. So we're up to uh, seven Wrath effects. Okay. Uh, that also we got. Makes me sad. Yeah. <laughs> All my mirrors. We got die equipment. <laughs> We've got equipment galore, bud. We got evasion qui equipment. We got protection equipment. We got bullshit. We also got stupid little two card combos that I love. Uh, and I my land tax, because I've had it since I was 10, and I finally get to play it. <laughs> Joe. Boils of oh. land tax. I, it's so much fun. I've mm -hmm. always wanted to play it. Anyway, uh, today I'm smoking Violator. Oh. And uh, I forgot what I'm drinking. You bought a lager. I bought a lager of some sort. Yeah, I'll okay. identify You're drinking it. today? I, I'm gonna have a beer. Oh, Ooh. You yeah. bought a beer. Nice. Yeah. I, was, I, I witnessed him. I'm branching out. One beer, please. Witness him. <laughs> Witness him. <laughs> I, considering how much I'm sweating right now, that one beer may be a mistake. No. Um, <laughs> we'll find out later. We'll be fine. Everything's fine. We'll find out after the break. <laughs> Uh, but before the break, Joe, what the hell are you running? Uh, so I'm running Jorkadine because, uh, as many people want to make Boros work, I'm trying to make Boros work, but with a silly theme of playing Mir Tribal. <laughs> so basically the goal is to make a bunch of Mir, swing in with Mir Battlesphere, and just punch people. Uh, we got Tempered Steel, we got Mycosynth Golem to make all my Mir and artifact creatures cheaper, and then a bunch of other artifact type synergies. There is an infinite mana combo in here. It's a little dirtily. Hey, there might be a fireball in your future. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to see. We'll wait and see. You Dirtle decide. at the But aside table. from that, it's, it's kind of like the classic thing that I always do is make a bunch of dudes and just punch my way to victory. Um, Dan, oh, I'm also going to be drinking a, a selection of beers from IPAs to uh, sours and, and, and other various styles. It'll just depend on what I feel like drinking at the time. I'm not smoking any weed. Um, I'm not about those dank nugs today. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, Dan, what are you going to be playing? Uh, yeah, so uh, this week I'm running a Damia Sage of Stone, which uh, is signed, by the way, by the artist, by accident. I ordered it without realizing that it was signed. Uh, I'm calling this deck Mana Dorks United. Um, I'm running a lot of Mana Dorks. Uh, most of the mana I'm getting from the Dorks is to play more Mana Dorks. Uh, and then our end game is mostly hopes and prayers. Uh, we're going to untap some stuff, draw some cards, and uh, untap our creatures too. Uh, and I'm hoping that once I play out all the Dorks, Dami will be able to draw me into more Dorks to play to play more Dorks. Uh, that's the plan. It's all Dorks. Uh, this week I'm drinking Lager. Uh, yeah, Brandon. <laughs> okay, thanks, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're gonna go get inebriated with some of our uh, great assortments, uh, and we'll be right back after this message from our sponsors. We have sponsors. <laughs> You got that, Brendan, at home when you're editing this? Hey, future yeah, Brendan. Brendan. Stop taking fucking breaks and edit the episode. Hey, future Brendan, you're a fucking champion and I love you. <laughs> you're cherished. We love you, buddy. I mean, you're doing it. 
All right. Oh. Knowing you, you got yeah. like half a bag of like something open and you're kind of half paying attention to it. So I'm probably watching uh, One Punch Man actually. I was about I was gonna to start watching gonna One Punch Man. Say, I was going to say I was going to say my hero. But Oh, if it's out, it comes out in the fall. Uh, Drew, you on the dice roll? I sure do. You did. Want to go first? Yeah, I'm playing this planes card face up in attack mode and drawing my card for the turn, which I remembered to do. Joe, it's your turn. I will draw my card. <laughs> And I will play this planes, and I will pass the Ooh, turn. I like those planes. They're good uh, planes. We'll go to my untap step, my upkeep step, any effects. Uh, priority passes clockwise, Brendan. Uh, no effects. Uh, all right, I'm going to skip everyone else. I'm going to draw. Uh, we have a forest and an arbor elf. Go ahead. Uh, I'm going to go to my draw. Uh, it's not going to be too explosive this turn. Uh, it's going to be fine. Uh, just wait till next turn. Uh, I'm going to play uh, this blooming marsh untapped. Uh, I'm going to tap it for. Uh, Soul Ring? Yeah, okay. Soul Ring into Talisman of Resistance? Yeah, it seems fine. Yeah, it Where's seems, your commander? Seems good. Uh, oh, I think I shoveled her into the deck. All right, well. Well, <laughs> everyone restart. Legit? No, That's no, good, I kept my two lander. I kept a one lander. No, we're, 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 we're in this we're together. Not. We're in this together. Where the fuck are you? I'm gonna pass the turn. I'll okay. this after. I'm gonna yeah. draw my card. Sounds good. The problem is with this deck, she's sleeved with like the same sleeves. Yeah, as the deck. Dean's yeah. the same way. There we go. But I just, I like these mint sleeves so much, I yeah. couldn't have, not have him so in, nice. the, in the uh, mint. I'm gonna play this old boy Mirage Dragon Point. Shield sponsor us? Yep. <laughs> then, uh, two and this Brain Rock. Oh, I like Brain oh, Rock. Shit. Brain this Rock is a very rock. old Brain Rock. One of the best rocks. Yeah, it is a nice rock. That's a good brain and a good rock. It's, huh. it's got a little bit of both going on. This episode brought to you by Brain Rock. Oh, fuck yes. Good. Play Mountainia. Okay. I will also play my own Brain Rock. Oh, fine. And I will okay. pass the turn. Wow. Wait, same set and everything. Yeah, man. Gotta go, gotta go like Fast. OG printing, because like. Uh, Evolving Wilds. I, yeah. <laughs> Boreal Druid. Uh, Arbralf is gonna attack, uh, I guess, Brendan for one. Yeah, that makes sense. I'll crack this Evolving Wilds for a mm -hmm. basic uh, island card <laughs> and pass the turn. Cool. Uh, untap, upkeep, draw. Uh, I'll play Forest. And I'll also play. Hmm. 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 I'll play Hephaestra, oh. and I'll also play. Stop having so much uh, mana. Can you yeah. just like pass the turn? I'll dig myself it. for one mana, or for one damage for one mana. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And I'll play uh, this Blowfly Infestation. Here you go, Drew. That's a good one. Yeah, Blowfly. Whenever Brandon's a creature is put into a graveyard from play, if it had a minus one, minus one counter on it, I put another minus one, minus one counter on another creature. Uh oh, that's not good for me. Uh, I might be dead here, guys. Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing. I have a lot of untoughness dudes. I have a lot of uh, mirror, mirror, which uh, are generally weak. Yeah, you have a tempered steel, though. I do, I do or get to have silence. tempered steel. Mm. This is fine. Artifacts uh, and enchantment spells? Will cost two more. I can also so, sack it and fuck up an artifact or enchantment. Oh, yeah. You've awesome. basically just hosed my entire deck. It's gonna be fine. I hosed quite a few boys today. Mostly me. I'm mostly artifacts. You just gotta believe He's mostly me. enchantments. Yeah, I play a lot of enchantments, even in my like non enchantment heavy decks. All I right. don't. This is fine for me, but I feel your pain anyway. <laughs> God damn it, Dan. Is it my go, or are you doing No, it's nice? your go. Okay. Also, it's not symmetrical. Yeah. So you're good. Uh, Okay. We're fine. Fifty percent of the table is fine with this. So. Mountain. Um, so it's insurance for the infestation. Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna play that mountain, that sweet, sweet Mark tended mountain. Yep. Uh, and I will pass the turn. Uh, we will play yet another basic island. Uh, then we're gonna pay five for a thousand year elixir. Nice. My guys can tap like they had haste, and I can tap it. And one to untap a creature. Okay, one more time. <laughs> uh, thousand Year Elixir, I can tap my guys as if they had haste, and I can tap one and tap it to untap a creature. Cool. Go ahead. I go. Uh, oh, untap. Damn. I'll keep draw. Hmm. I'm gonna play a forest. <clears throat> He's playing a forest, guys. Oh, God. Uh, I'm gonna tap four, one of the most three and a black for do. Pitiless Plunder. Whenever a creature Ooh. I control dies, uh, create a colorless treasure artifact token. <laughs> that I can sack for mana. Uh -huh. I'm gonna go to combat. Oh. And I'm gonna swing for two at Please don't. Joe. Okay, I get two. Joe takes two, uh, Fetra triggers. This I put is a the part really, one. please don't. Yeah, on another creature. 
I go down to 38. This is colorless and this is any mana? Yeah. And this is snow mana as well. It's a snow creature. Uh, is Bluffway Infestation it's, it's a It's not a May trigger. Oh. So I'm going to put a minus one, minus one counter on this creature. Uh, yes, Your, uh, based actions, he dies. Boom. Uh, Blowfly Infestation. First Snake Trigger. Uh, then Blowfly Infestation will trigger. Yes. Yeah. And, this. and then I'll make another Snake. Yes. So I keep track so I have two Snakes. Uh, and then you have to put a minus one, minus one on another creature. Yeah, so I can put it on a Snake and then make a Snake. Uh... Yeah, but then the snake with the minus oh, one minus one the snake would die. died. So right. yeah, so you have to put it on something that it So I think die. I'll just put it on the Pitiless Plunderer. Okay, okay. Kind of bit myself in the foot on that one. That's a thing people say, right? What's yeah. the power and toughness of the Pitiless Plunderer? Uh, it's a zero three now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, I bite I'll just, my feet. I bite turn. my feet like every other human. Yeah. Like all Spot. humans do, which I am. <laughs> Guys, it's not getting any better. <laughs> oh boy. Um. Oh boy. This is a rough one. Oh boy, here I go oh, again. Oh jeez. Oh boy. Oh no, I'm not sure. What well, to do about there's this one situation. card that's playable in my hand. Karmic Justice. Yep. Uh huh. Yeah. No one's coming your way. Don't worry about it. Okay. What does it go. do again? What does it do again? If we just, yeah. Whenever a spell a, or an ability an opponent control destroys a non-creature permanent I control, I may destroy target permanent that opponent controls. Gotcha. If you fuck me up, I fuck you back. Okay, I Is don't you... really feel like getting it's fucked tubular. right now. It's <laughs> tubular. <laughs> and I mean, in a way. Okay. It's your turn, Joe. Okay, draw. I feel like this is the sitting time for you and I. Yep. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna play this planes. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to tap all my my guys for Urbrask, Ooh, the hidden. I like uh, it. So creatures Aww. I control have haste. Creatures your opponent's control, end of the battlefield tapped, he's a 4-4. So, by default, he has haste. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. um, The snakes have death touch, though. The snakes do have yeah, death touch. Yeah, the snakes touch. do have death touch. Uh, Dan, I'm gonna hit you for four. Acceptable. Okay, and then I'm gonna pass the turn. All right, all right, all right, come on, come on. <laughs> this land, is land, acceptable. Land. Not yes. a land, all Over right. Uh, well, we have a dork that isn't a 1-1. One, one. He's a 2-3. Oh, he comes and tapped, I'm sorry. Uh, and he taps for two mana of any combination of colors, uh, but I can only use it to cast creatures, and we can just ignore the bottom part. It's not important uh, for sure. Never going to come up. Go ahead. Formidable. He's got a bio rhythm on his stick. It might, it, it might come up, but... What does he do? Uh, I can tap nine and two green, so 11. Uh, tap him, and each player's life total becomes the number of creatures they control, but I can only do it if I have total power eight or greater on board. Wow. It basically hoses combo okay. decks. Go That's ahead. Super duper good. Okay. On top, upkeep, draw. Um, if I swing at Drew, stop it. I make infinite treasure tokens. Wait, how? Oh yeah, I guess you could have done that last turn too, eh? Yeah. I didn't even think. I, I just noticed the Wait, same how, thing. How and so, why? so uh, a minus a minus one counter gets on a snake, which uh -huh. kills the snake. A minus a minus one counter uh, went on a cre. Is it any creature or creature an opponent controls? Uh, any creature. No, for uh, Havetra, oh, though. Oh, uh, any creature. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, which makes another snake, but it's something with a mice and mice one died, and he has to put a mice and mice one on something, so he puts it on the snake. Mice and mice one counter is put in a creature, so he gets a snake. The snake dies, so another mice and mice one counter so has to go on. So it's an infinite loop. So crack and kill. But uh, every time something dies of his, he gets a treasure. Yeah. I would so, recommend yeah. you get so rid I, of that. So I can go to combat, and you can destroy the blue. That, that's station. the plan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. I'm gonna go to combat. I'm yep. gonna crack the aura. <laughs> cool. Destroy the blowfly infestation. Yeah, that's fun. Bye. Do you just, there's no, you just sacrifice it and yeah. it does the thing? Yeah. Sweet. Okay, cool. Oh, guy, guy, look at, this card's amazing. It's a good one. Oh, it, it is a good one. It's just, it's, it's a solid I'm card. I'm gonna go to swinging with Hephetra at Drew for two. Uh, two damage points. Uh, so that's, sorry, I'll just mark my commander damage here. Two and two. I'm marking, I'm keeping track of the commander damage that's been dealt to me with right. a variety oh, of, of, uh, of teams. Spin downs. Um, I'll be honest with you guys, I don't think I'm going to make it. I'm going to put a minus one, minus you know, one you counter never know. on you never know. one of my snakes. Sure. Uh, so it'll make me a treasure token, but it'll only happen one time. Snake. Yeah, yeah. Um, snake, snake. Second main, I'm going to play this forest. Mm -hmm. And... Mm -hmm. I'm going to crack this. You for... made a snake, right? Yep. Uh, that snake comes in tapped. It sure does. Sure. Thank you for reminding me. 
So I have one snake that's tapped and one snake that's untapped. Yes. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. Sure bunch, bunch of snakes. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to take one damage, make a black, wee wee. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yes, senor. And play skin render and put three minus one minus one counters on your shaman of the forgotten ways. That also comes in tapped. Yeah. And then I make another tapped snake. Yes. Uh, your gojer. You've made me a sad boy. Yeah, sorry. It's just really good. Like, I'll have a lot of dudes, but only like 10. <laughs> oh, we're in a bad place. Yeah, but you, you know, like, you just need a board wipe and then we're, we're back to basic. I don't have enough mana to pull that off. I see the bad place. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Accurate. It's weirdly in sync, I didn't like it. Caught out of the corner of my eye. Yes. <laughs> no land drop. No. Oh, yikes. You could always get rid of the rock to try and draw my, one. All right, my go. Uh, untap. I'm pretty fucked here, boys. Upkeep. Not gonna lie. Maybe out of this one early. Well, I feel like a lot I of people have untapped snakes. Okay. okay. Um. So. Uh. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling your pain. I'm gonna go to. Combat. You have one untapped snake. You have no creatures. That's you correct. have no creatures. But he has three. But he has karmic justice, which will make me like sack a bunch of stuff, right? No, no. It's only if he destroys destroying my stuff. Oh, okay. I'm an open target. Uh, so Dan, attack, attack you for four. I will be four again. Ah, I feel four. Uh, second main phase. Tap for five and play Vanquisher's Banner. Uh, <laughs> so when I enter the battlefield, I choose a creature type. I'm going to choose Mirror. Yep. Uh, creatures of that chosen type get plus one plus one that I control, and whenever I cast a creature spell of the chosen type, I draw a card. That seems all right. Uh, and then I will. Pass the turn. I really admit, I've never seen anyone named Murr with uh, Vanquisher's banner. Listen, <laughs> draw my card. You gotta, you gotta, like, you know, they they released that new like tribal guy for uh, for Modern Horizons, but you gotta give oh, credit yeah, to the the mirror, all right? Oh, for sure, for sure. If you got that guy, would you build him as your mirror commander? There's not enough mirror, like, there's not enough payoffs to go five color, really. Yeah, no. Like, you, uh, you get to run all of the like the, the mana mirror, yeah. the, the mana mirrors, but like. Most of your good ones are in like white, red, or blue. You could run Sarkamite Mirror now, because it's a blue one. So uh, it's just Sarkamval, but I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> just paste them on his face. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'll shock myself off an Overgrown Tomb. Um, we're gonna Finale of Devastation for oh. two. <laughs> I get to go through my deck and look for something that costs two or less and put it on the battlefield. Is, uh, is X equals 10? If X equals 10, X all equals my 10. stuff gets a. Bunch of bunch bigger. Okay, cool. You can also um, look through your graveyard with that card, right? Yeah. I'm looking for something that is a more than one toughness. Mm. Um, you can go home searching here, Brandon, if you want. I'm just going to get a dork that isn't teeny tiny. Mm -hmm. Does it go right into the battlefield? Or yeah, right, right into the battlefield. I can wait. We can cut around. Okay, okay, sure, sure, sure. Um, oh, that one seems. Pre oh, no, this one is better. Uh, we've, we've, we've got a runner. Uh, oh, actually, this one seems best because it gets hexproof. So I was thinking we should oh, uh, smoke proof this room, like air right. seal it, and get oxygen tanks and pump them into the room. And then we can just hotbox the room. <laughs> no I was thinking I was thinking we buy an industrial fan because it gets really warm in here because all of the lights are tungsten. Yeah. So when we cut, we can just like oh, put the in put the industrial fan on. I mean you've got a, a mop of hair, that doesn't really help your situation. No. No offense, Drew. Is that better? Hair is well, literally for keeping you warm. Um, uh, so I'm getting an Incubation Druid, which taps for mana, and if it has a 1-1 counter on it, it taps for 3 mana. Wow! I'm oh. Harry Northern. Now. Also, it's a 0-2. Go ahead. Okay. Untap. You're like a Nord. No. Except skinnier. Yeah. That's me. And with fewer axes. And less, and, and less, less hatred uh, towards elves. Hmm. No, well, I'm English. <laughs> no. Fair. We're the ones who made sure I mean, they didn't make it to this century. He does I'm deal myself for one damage and make a black. <laughs> sure. Sure. Uh, one, sure. two, sure. three, four. I'm going to play this Carnifex Demon. Uh, it comes in the battlefield right. with a minus one, minus one counter on it. Comes in tapped. It also comes in tapped. Uh, I can pay one black to put a minus one, minus one counter on every creature. Bop, 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 bop. And take a minus one, minus one counter on him. Oh, but he doesn't have a black mana. No, I don't know black. Oh, yeah, he does. He has a treasure. He has a treasure. I do have a treasure. You do have a treasure. Oh. El treasure. Play a forest. But do I want to use that treasure on something else? I don't know. 
We'll never know until you decide. Uh, I'm going to combat. Okay. I'm going to swing the skin render at. Hello. Drew. Mm hmm. And Hafetra at Joe. How much is the skin render? Uh, so you take three and Joe takes two. I get two. Hafetra will trigger. Yeah, three's worth this. I go down to 36. Uh, I'm going to put a minus one, minus one counter on your incubation druid. Yeah. Okay. There you go. And uh, then I make a snake. It is a tapped snake, though. Snack. It is. So many snacks. So I'm a snack. So I'm a snake. Many snacks. So many snacks. Lots of snacks. Yeah, and then I'll pass the turn. Here you go. Ah, uh, hissy, hissy. No. <laughs> no. Don't eat the mouse. On me. That what snack do. Eat the mouse. Munch the mouse. <laughs> snakes eat mice. I, I understand that. Okay, good. I just wanted to make Your sure I was coming across very clear. Confusing for a That's why I wanted to clarify afterward by saying snakes eat mice. I mean, you know, What's wrong? What's wrong, Drew? They're slapping. I am in mean, great trouble. Does it slap? No. I'm in danger. Hmm. I keep drawing nothing. Yep. You're not. You're drawing gas, but it's gas. Oh yeah. Can't play. No. We got plenty of ass, but ass see, gas. See, he's drawing gas, but the problem is right now his game plays a garbage fire, so, so it's you're, really you're drawing, just making the situation ass, worse. You're drawing ass, but you need to draw the wiener. Is it from what your like deck tech told me? Is that, is yeah, that I do need more weena in this way. Yeah. Is this um, ring? I'm busting the soul Ooh. ring though, just to yeah. slow you the fuck yeah. down and yeah. I'm gaining a life. Yeah. Because I have no other plays and I don't want to discard a card. Fair. Turn. Okay. Did you take three? Well, I hit you with a skin render? Yes, Rock. I sure did. Okay, yes. sweet. I was at uh, 35. Play of planes. Nice. It's all 36. Also, all of my basics are the same art because I'm crazy like that. No, Whoa, the planes, so the, the, these two have different arts. Do you, you like talking? to travel? <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna... I'm gonna tap for six to play this Dreamstone Hadron. Yeah. Oh. Um, Big Rucko. Oh, why are you so oh. sad? <laughs> I want a Dreamstone Hadron. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Urbrask, the secret. What, the creature you have untapped there, Oh no! You have, how many untapped snakes do you have? I have three untapped snakes, and I have one pitiless plunder who's untapped. He's a zero three. He's also eating gold. I oh. am. It seems like a bad plan. He's yeah. not gonna last just very long. Gonna, I'm, gonna get, like, I'm just gonna. No, well, heavy metal. Pass the too. turn. I'm not gonna attack or anything. So. Untap, upkeep, draw. Uh, well, we have drawn the basic See swamp. The moving engine of my deck. Um, I think the thing is, is, you present yourself as not a threat. Until it's very immediate that you are a threat. I, yes, if I get to six lands. Y yeah, and that's a scary prospect right well, there. Well, at turn five, we're at two. I See? may not get there. Okay, here's. If here's... I hit my, all of the wraths from here on in, yes. Okay, Day of judgment. Here's what's going down. Well, we you need one more five land to do Dave. Adapt this guy for three one like encounters. Screwed. Mm -hmm. Wrath of God. Uh, that response. Too. There's a good. So I say that again. Yeah, so I'm gonna. We'll try not, we'll try not to talk over other people's. Uh, yeah. Plays. Pay five yeah. and adapt three, so he gets three plus one plus one counters, which means he'll tap for three mana. Sure. Okay. And the minus minus one counter will be gone. He'll have two. Yes. Okay. Cool. Uh, I will tap him for uh, three green, I guess. So we can just do one of these. Uh, use one of it to untap him. Tap him for three blue. Uh, use uh, two blue and a green for freed from the reel. Use what a blue to untap him. Now I have infinite mana, because I can tap for three mana and use one mana to untap him. Okay. Uh, yes. We're gonna cast Soul of the Harvest from my hand. Whenever a non-token enters the battlefield under my control, I may draw a card. Then we're gonna cast Damia, the Sage of Stane. And I'm gonna draw a card off Soul of the Harvest. Um, then we're gonna pass the turn. Do you think Damia really likes, like, Untap. do you think she has, like, a preferred stone, like a quartz or a granite or something like that? Like, she's a purveyor Draw. of, like, high quality stones? I feel like she'd be more of a sedimentary lady, you know, probably like a limestone so she, or something. So she likes the fossils. Sedimentary the is a yeah. fucking poor man's stone, and you know it. <laughs> Igneous or bust, what are you, a casual? <laughs> Metamorphous, actually. <laughs> For those out there who live dangerously. Uh, I, I'm not ready to go that crazy yet, I mean. Uh, I'm gonna play a swamp fucking new art. Sedimentary my ass. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go to combat. Mm. Go for it. Yep.
I'm gonna swing at Drew with Hephetra and um, Dan with the Carnifex Demon and Joe with the Skin Render. Skin Render is a what? What? Uh, three three. Okay. I take a damage two damage points. I'm declaring no blocks. I'm also okay. declaring no blocks. I will take three. All right. I'll take four in the air. Uh, Hephetra triggers before damage. Actually, before the Hephetra trigger. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna pay two black. Actually, just one black to take a minus one off of the uh, the Carnifex Demon. Sure. Okay. And everything gets a minus one, minus one counter? Yes. All right. Everything gets a minus one, minus everything one counter. Everything gets a minus one, minus one counter. Okay. Uh, so, so the Brass is now a 3-3. Three, three. That sucks. Um, I'll make it. All four of my snakes die. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I get four treasure tokens and four top snakes. Correct. Yep. Well. Accurate. And then a Fetra will trigger. Yep. Uh, so, so now we're going to damage, right? Yes. Okay. So, okay. so, so first we actually take the damage. Yes. Yeah. So you take three, two, and I, I take five. I take three. Yeah. Yep. yep. Now I fetcher triggers. Fetcher will trigger, and I will put a minus one, minus one counter on. Um, yeah. If you put it on him, I don't have infinite man anymore. Yeah. I'm gonna, oh. I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Put it on the incubation. That seems smart. And then I'm gonna make one more snake. Hmm. So as long as Carnifex Nema has a minus one, minus one counter on it, you can take it off and give everything else a minus one, minus one counter, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm gonna go to my second main. Hold priority. Do nothing. Pass the turn. I see. I'm going to untap my land cards and upkeep and piss. <laughs> Please don't pee under the table. That's just like bad etiquette, man. I, like, you've... Uh, too late for my <laughs> first time drinking a beer in front of a camera. This is bad, man. I've had to go for like the last uh, at least four turns. Fair, very fair. That combined with the no mana, this is like I'm not gonna lie. This has been a rough game. <laughs> it's bound to happen, man. But I did get this marble diamond, which is kind of an answer to my prayers. Okay. Kind of a little bit, right. not really at all. You piece of shit garbage. I mean, better than another not man at all. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It was that a land or rat? You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna murder us when you get land tax. Actually, f it. I'm not even gonna play any creatures. Why would I have creatures ever again? Go. Okay. <laughs> Untap. All right. Draw. Hmm. That's a card. Uh, okay, so... Hmm. Tap this white mana uh, to play Source to Plowshares Target. to exile your Carnifex Demon, Brendan. Sure, in Tar response. Targeting Carnifex Demon. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, Kit myself for one. Okay. Mm. Uh, make one black mana and use his ability. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, take a minus one off of him. Put a minus one on every creature. Okay. Um, a fetcher will die. Yep. And all my snakes will die. So I'll make five more snakes. Question. Five more mm. treasure tokens plus one because a fetcher Because uh, a fetcher dies at the same time that the snakes do, does the trigger still happen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, it looks back to, uh, uh, to when the creature died. Okay. And when the creature died, a fetcher is still in the battlefield. Copy. Gotcha. Okay. So the uh, and you, yeah, you gain life equal to the creature's power. Oh, cool. So I gain six life. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm back to uh, forty-one. My starting life total. Of course. And then my Wait a second. <laughs> source of pleasure goes to my graveyard. He's um, exhaled. And then I'm going to tap uh, that and that for I need to see four mana. And I'm gonna pay four life and play Molten Steel Dragon? So spooky. You could just go all in and just kill someone. Yeah. <laughs> I'll pay 20 lives, let's go! I could just suicide myself and be like, ha ha! A uh, teamer battle rage? Uh, yeah, it's a 4 4 flying dragon that as a Phyrexian mana, I can give it plus one plus oh until end of turn, so I can either pay a red or I can pay two life. Holy smokes. Uh, it's a good card. Um. Uh, and then I'm just gonna pass the as long turn. As we don't say the first part. I don't know what you're talking about. Of course, I don't know. I don't know how about. the rules work. Maybe like three seconds of it. Untap. Uh, upkeep. Down me a trigger. I'll I just draw went, I up to seven it. cards. Yeah. Up to seven. Yep. Yeah, I draw back up to seven. Uh, I skip my draw step. Go to main one. Let's play uh, Nykthos because it taps for multiple mana at a time. Uh, then 
Let's get the infinite mana back. I'm gonna adapt this guy. Yeah. Yep. All the mana in the world. Man, that that dork is uh, it's got a really gnarly case of gas. Ha ha ha! Uh, Vizier of the Tumbling Sands, he goes in tapped. I'll draw a card off of Soul of the Harvest. Uh, we got a Priest of Titania, we're gonna draw a card. Uh, we got a Fierce Empath, we're gonna draw a card and go looking for a guy. It, the only reason this hurts me is because I know it's adding up to nothing. It's, get, it's gonna amount to him just having oodles of mana and not much to spend it on? That's already what I have, so let's keep so going. How do you win? <laughs> well, I'll figure it out, I guess. <laughs> I've I have a couple win cons. Yeah, you have like I, tribal unity. I got a few. You can like we got an end race forerunners that we're gonna tutor yep. with the the fierce empath, but all our guys come in tapped, unfortunately. Yep. Uh, which makes it a little tougher. Um. Uh, we're gonna play a regal force first. Drawing a card off soul to harvest, he then drawing a card for each green creature I control, which is six. Yeah. This is scary. I almost hit the board clear. Um, you will. Then we're gonna give me two <coughs> turns for Excuse sure. Cast Maybe one if I'm lucky. Far Haven Elf. We're gonna stack the triggers there at the basic land first, and then draw the card. Oh. Gotta thin that deck. Uh, then we're gonna cast a Somberwald Sage. Drawing a card. We're gonna cast a Woodland Bellower. Drawing a card and going looking for something green with CMC three or less that isn't a legend. And Green. putting it on the battlefield. Uh, we're gonna go get an Elvish Arc Druid, uh, which will draw me a card. Guys, I, I don't mean to to be that kind of guy, but this is mildly scary. No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Um, I don't like how you said it was it's fine. It's only scary if he actually draws one of the wins. Um, I don't know. What he is may it. just spiral out what and pass here. Do That's it's his. happened a lot. That's uh, we're gonna fair. cast a Beast Whisperer, which is another, uh, it's a cast trigger that I draw a card on creatures. It comes in, I'll draw a card. Uh, we're gonna cast a Whir of Invention, where X equals five. Uh, I guess we're going to get a Paradox Engine. May as well. Okay. I don't okay. think we have now anything. he might be hitting it. Uh, now actually, he can, now he might be able to uh, hit his whole deck. Response. He can actually uh, swing with the four on Once you pass priority. Oh, okay, okay, just a second then, because because whatever I get will be in, uh, in play. Um... I might not get a pair. Okay. Um, sorry. War of Invention is on the stack. Okay. Response. Sure. I'm gonna pay a mana and sack the Mind Stone to draw a card. Yeah. Uh, yep. Okay. Uh, War of Invention <laughs> resolves. Uh, I think we're actually not gonna get a Paradox Engine. Uh, I think instead we're gonna get a Cloudstone Curio. Uh, Ooh. Uh -oh. Yeah, which is a good one. What does it read? Uh, whenever a non-artifact permanent comes into play under my control, I can return a m another permanent I control that shares a permanent type with it to its owner's hand. So if I play a creature, I can bounce a creature to my hand that I control. Yeah. Um, so what this lets us do is I get to play a creature, draw a couple cards, uh, bounce a creature. Uh, I get to play a creature, draw a couple cards, bounce a creature. I get to play a creature, draw a couple cards, and bounce a creature. I have all my deck in my hand! All right, put your deck in your hand. <laughs> Uh, okay. I will cast Walking Ballista. X equals 80 billion. Oh. We all die! Actually, I made a goof. Because I drew my whole deck, this is not an optional draw. I cast Walking Ballista and I lose. You milled yourself out. Because I said I drew my whole deck. It's true. Uh, <laughs> shouldn't have drawn the whole thing. No, you shouldn't have. Uh, side note, you should probably be playing uh, Lab Maniac or uh, Jace. Nah. Nah, we don't need them. So, All right, well, uh, so Dan ascends and uh, then dies. Yep, I uh, <laughs> killed myself by accident. Uh, and uh, Dan ascended to the heavens and left our game. Well, that's uh, he has become one with the magic. That's how it goes sometimes. That was a good game. Good job, Dan. Oh, thanks, yeah, thanks, good thanks, good thanks, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, okay, good thanks. Good game. Thanks, everyone. I'll just get going. Is it my goal? Yeah, I'm dead. Cool. All right. Cool. That's how it goes. I'll keep draw. That's, I mean, that's cool. I can't believe you're, you're just sticking to your word that hard. I said I drew the whole deck. I picked up the whole deck. Yeah. Uh, wasn't a May. Had to draw a card. Yep. <laughs> the, the danger of no, running yeah, this no. kind of deck. I'm going to uh, Death Sprout your uh, Braider. Okay. Uh, and I go get a basic land and put it into the battlefield tapped, then shuffle my library. 
I mean, technically you won there. Well, no, I'd like- Like, you ascended to the heavens. Like, I, I could have given everything haste, and then Paradox Engine, and then cast another non-creature to untap it all. But, all, yeah. but it didn't have enough damage on board to kill everything, and I didn't have a non-creature way of pumping my team. Your walking okay. list just won. Like, if you just drew the right amount of cards, you won one. Yeah, I actually drew the walking list on the first draw. Yeah. <laughs> but... This has been a half an hour. Yeah. That's a pretty good amount of game. Well, I mean, you, you, you guys that are still was, in that the game. Was, that was interesting, to yeah. say the least. Like... I mean, you, you guys are still in the game. Basically, Dan's in, deck in, was in, like, in I did a thing, and then I died Smart because card. I did the thing. Oops! <laughs> Whoops! I'm dead! Uh, I'm going to... Go to combat. Yep. Yeah. Uh, go to my second main. Hit yeah. myself for one. Uh-huh. Play Hafetra, cracking uh -huh. two treasure tokens. Uh-huh. Uh, and then I'll pass the turn. Fuck. Okay. Sounds like a good one. How many cards do you have in your hand? Uh, Enough. Okay. All right. Fine. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Calm down, dude. Eight. Yeah, I've yeah. been managing to play one card per turn. Which is great. Yeah. We're getting there. I mean, you know you gotta get there. Slowly but boldly. Uh, I'm gonna play this Hedron Archive. Yep. That's a good one. I'm gonna play this Inquisitor's Flail. Cool. That's a what good one. That, what does that do? Um, if a creep. <laughs> yep, sounds right. Yep, that sounds accurate. Your turn, Joe. Okay. <laughs> if a creep, if equipped creature would deal combat damage, it deals double that damage instead. If another creature would deal combat damage to equipped creature, it deals double that damage instead. So it's kind of like double strike, but not really. Kind of like double strike, but it stacks with double strike. Except mm. it stacks with double strike. Okay, I'm gonna untap all my dudes, and by dudes I mean lands, and draw Ooh. a card. I'm going to tap two to play, or sorry, tap three to play uh, Worn Power Stone, which comes in tapped. Mm -hmm. uh, it taps for two colorless, and then I'm going to tap four and play Hedron Archive. No. Um, Brendan, do you have any flyers or anything with reach? Nope. Go to combat. Attack with Molten Steel Dragon? Sure, no blocks. Uh, I'm Bold. gonna <laughs> pay four life to make it a six four. Sure, I'll take six. I'll go to uh, 34. I am down to 25. Who needs, who needs a life total? Uh, and then I'll pass the turn. Sure. I'll untap. I'm afraid of no ghosts. No, oh, I am. Ghosts are spooky. Draw. No ghosts. Ooh. That's a, that's a, that's a goose ghost. Which <laughs> is even more terrifying than a normal oh ghost. Is multiple called a geest? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I want them to make a, a, a silly card called, uh, Storm of, Storm of, uh, <laughs> Storm of geese? <laughs> yeah. It's just... It's just a bunch of 1-1 one, one bird spirit tokens that are like, the art is just a goose. A goose ghost? Yeah, that'd be great. I'm Can gonna ghost, play a uh, Necro Skitter. Uh, whenever a creature an opponent controls with a minus one, minus one counter on it is put into the graveyard, I put that creature into play under my control. That's all right. I run that, by, run one... that by me again? If something you control dies and it has a minus one, minus one counter on it, instead of going to your graveyard, it goes into play under my control. Okay. Dan, <laughs> okay. yeah. That's a good one. Uh, right? Yeah, that seems pretty good. No, it doesn't. I'm down to two lands after. Uh, I'm gonna go to combat. Uh, yeah, but like, look at his board yeah. state. I know. It's, it's true. Drew for seven? Yep, nothing I can do about that. Uh, Fetcher triggers, I'm gonna put a minus one, minus one counter on your uh, Molten Metal Dragon? Molten Steel Dragon? Molten Steel Dragon, yeah, that one. Uh, the black yeah, the black ones. Cool. Uh, and then I'm gonna make a snake and it's untapped. Oh, so I have one untapped snake. I uh, go to my end step, you go, Drew. Snake. Did you, did you just draw the, the Stone Cold Nut? A little bit. Nice. Not entirely. 
But it, it advances your I, I can show Dan and the camera at the same time. I'm not looking. I see. You do one of these, too. Oh, yeah, you can show look up that guy. Boyos! <laughs> Oh, I can see. Wait, I can't see that too. Actually, don't yeah. fucking look at the bottom. I didn't look. I didn't look. There's, my curtains. there's too many. There's too many screens. <laughs> I'm trying to that let everybody slaver. know that I'm not completely doinked here. <laughs> that I am still playing a game of magic under all of this. I have a, a conversation point actually. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, damn! Really After that, that, I have a better conversation That's point. That's a good conversation um, point. Um, no worries. No effect. Uh, I guess, yeah, I guess I can't do anything. No, I can't sack any of my things to draw cards. Yeah, I guess it all just dies. Uh, all non land permanents. Go to the graveyard. Uh, wait, uh, question. One, five, Does six, seven, eight. Dan, since ah. you're out of the. That's awesome. Since uh, Molten Steel Dragon died with a minus one, minus one counter, does it trigger and does he get control of it? Yeah. Here you go. Thank Same you. reason that's his thinking before. Uh, and I get eight treasure tokens. I also uh, destroyed all your other treasure tokens. Yeah. Yes, so I have eight in total. And the talisman's done too. Okay! Yeah. I'm like sufficiently low on mana now. I'm down to two planes! Go, Joe! Okay. <laughs> Untap. Draw. I get this piece of garbage out of here. I don't want to look at him anymore. No, he's, he's in exile. Uh, he's in the forever nothing. No, he's right in front of me. He he's in the removed from the game zone. Uh, okay. Also, my conversation topic. Oh yeah, was there's an original Django movie? Yeah, I didn't know that. There's a there's so the Django films. It's yeah. it's a it's kind of like a tradition in uh, like spaghetti, spaghetti western, western. Yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of kind of stuff. Um, yeah, so I mean Tarantino being a you forgot being a giant <laughs> to beat down a dead man? film nerd like he'll he'll just pull from yeah. all of that like random stuff. Did you know what Django had in his his like original coffin. Django is not is not an African American man. He's yeah. a he's a he's just like a white dude. Right, right. But he had a coffin that he carried out on his back. Oh, that's oh, and inside man. the coffin was a machine gun, a <laughs> mini gun, like the fucking. Or <laughs> so I've been told. I haven't seen the movie. Oh my god! But uh, it's that's the most fucking anime thing I've ever. That's heard. so cool. Yeah. Slam down a coffin. Ooh. I guess I'm just gonna tap for it's five like and play Jorkadeen mm. for no real value. I mean, he's a five four. He's he's a five four. He's a five four with first strike. So like that's not rules first strike. Dude. What's your life total, Joe? Uh, I'm at twenty five. Are you just gonna kill me? Maybe. Probably. He's thinking about it. Thinking about it. Untap. It's okay, team. We can draw. Make it. Yep. Just got a bullet. I'm gonna play a forest. Mm hmm. I like so. As a side note, I like how my mirror deck has played zero mirror this whole game. <laughs> I have not showed what this deck does at all. No. I have Going only to. played rocks. Yeah. I had one enchantment. Sorry. Yep. And two one. lands. I'm, I'm sorry. Play My boys are putting okay. in work. Uh, and then I'm going to go to combat. Yep. And swing at Joe with the Molt Steel Dragon. Okay. I can't block it because I don't have any creatures with reach or flying. Okay. I'm going to pay eight red treasure tokens. Okay. Ooh. Crack for red mana. Uh, plus the necessary. So it gets eight 13. plus zero, which is which is twelve. Yeah, thirteen life. I'm gonna go to twenty one. So I, uh, uh, no. So it's it's two life. Yeah, for, three. So it'd have to be twenty six life. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So do you want to rethink that? No, it's fine. You're going to eight. Yeah. All right. And I die. Yeah. Oh. What was my next draw? Uh, so I, I I had like a bunch of. Cool stuff in my hand yeah. that I could never play. So what Pass happens? The turn. What happens to the dragon now that Joe's dead? Does it go away? Does it disappear now? <gasps> Maybe. I think it does. I think it dies. I, I, it's I, under Joe's control. Yeah. Well, it's it, it, Joe's dead. Yeah. I, yeah I, 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 I think it's gone it. now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. Did you? Did, are you gonna win? Planes. Oh, oh It's over now, boys. No. He's unlocked the third gate. My brain. And now for land tax. Oh damn. May I okay. never need land again. Cool. Go! Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Ooh. Hmm. That's a good one. I'm gonna That's go to combat. Up. Yeah. I swing at Drew for two. <laughs> go. Yeah, for sure. I'll put a minus one on Hephetra. Yeah. I'll make a snake. Okay. So far, pretty sure you've taken six commander damage. Yes. That might be relevant. Uh, end my turn. Okay. Oh, I'm doing the yep, yep. taxis. Yep. Card never touched your hand, still counts. We're taking a taxi. 
Get taxed. Look at all of my old <clears throat> ass planes. He says. Oh, I like Look them. at all those national parks that that land tax is paying for. <laughs> oh wow! So many campers. <laughs> so many activities. <laughs> well, those fires are illegal, but they're not too bad. So hey, let them go. Hey, Ranger Drew, are you? Uh, how much are you charging to get into your national park there? A what forest fire. fire. <laughs> I draw your card, do it. Oh right. Wait, I still get to draw after. Yeah. That. Oh, this land tax is good. Oh, oh, the most it's foil, here. the most foil planes. If I'd still been in the game, I would have scooped now. We're calling our way back, boys. Hmm. Slowly but boldly. Slowly but boldly. I like that. I, mean, I was talking about bowling, but yes, I am bold. Slowly I am but bowling. Kirk. Wall of reverence. Sure, that's a wall. It's a one six. That's definitely a wall. Uh, end my turn. Gain a life. Is it power? Oh, is it power or toughness only? Yeah, it's oh, power. Okay, okay. Cool. Go. Sadly. What's oh, the, uh, yeah. What's Wall of Reverence has defender and flying, and I'm gaining life uh, yeah, equal sure. to the power of uh, the highest power oh, I can And I have control. one swamp yeah, forest. Oh, this is the one I gave you. Yeah, that's what I did with the second one. Nice. Because I'm only running one swamp in this deck. <laughs> <laughs> so it's mostly blue green. Yeah, it's mostly blue. It's mostly green with little bits of blue, and I have like, like a small one black, black card. Uh, or I'm going to play my tower above on my snake. Mm hmm. Uh, actually, like, it gets plus four, three, plus four, yeah, that's and it gains trample uh, and wither. And whenever this creature attacks, target creature blocks it if this turn if able. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna have Wall of Reverence block it this turn. Okay. I'm gonna go to combat. Yep. I'm gonna swing with a Fetra and the snake. Yep. So this gets five minus one minus one counters. Yep. The snake has death touch too. Yeah, it has yep. death touch as well. So I'm dead. Um, so I'll make a snake from that interaction. Does this die before the counters get put on it? No, it, ha uh, it happens at the same time, because okay. Wither is the damage. Okay. And then the damage is also Death Touch. Yep. Uh, and then Hefetra will deal one damage to you. Cool. So you've taken seven commander damage so far. Net neutral on that last turn, everybody. Uh, <laughs> and then I'm going to make us another Snake. Yup. Here, I'll, uh, I'll track commander damage from now on. Okay, so. sure. My go? Uh, end my turn, your go. Untap, land tax! Here we go! White only has land tax and tithe to ramp you or Tibby. This is not ramp. No, nah, there's uh there's 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 the other one. The 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 one where it's the hands going down to the jar. It's one on a white for a sorcery and you get to land tax once. Really? Yeah. I don't remember I what don't it's know called. What that card is. It's a gift of estates. That, there. That sounds accurate. Oh, I don't know my phone on me, but yeah. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's strictly medium. Oh, a better one is though is a uh, order of the white orchid, or you just or you just play green. Um, you play green, <laughs> or you play uh, sword of the animist, and you're fine. That's a good one too. Um, I'm gonna play this plains card. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna send Hefetra on a journey near nowhere. Yeah. Uh, journey stays in the battlefield. All yep. right, it does. Tis, does eight. Tis an enchantment. Then I'm oh, gonna put out Mom. Uh oh. You're going. Mim. 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 Mom can protect herself from minus one, minus one counters. Are you gonna put uh, are you gonna put giver runes draw. in your deck once you get one? Uh if I find one, correct. I'm gonna play. I find all my cards in, in storm drains. <laughs> it usually mm, takes that, a while, but that sometimes sounds, you know, that sounds accurate. That's where I get the land tax. More wet than the other ones. <laughs> it's a little beat up. Hmm. It's all, this I thing saw the playground, Joe. Yeah. This, That's okay. It's functional. This I mean, thing was out on the tarmac. Doesn't cost you a lot of real real it's been world through the dollars. Crucible. <laughs> the crucible of a uh, crucible of tarmac. <laughs> I'm so close to being able to play everything I want to. Are you about to pop off, Brendan? No. I'm gonna I mean he's only got eleven mana. I'm not play sure what Soul he's Snuffer. Mm -hmm. uh, put a minus one, minus one on every creature. Sure does. Sadly, I thought I had turn. Time. Mother of Runes You're does going, not Drew. give protection for minus one, minus one counters. Uh, not before she can tap. My go. What do we do in Soap Land? We play another land, and then we tap four, and then we play a Sissy Ring, and then we pass the turn. A Sissy Ring? Cool. Sissy's Ring. Taps for two. He says Sissy Ring. I know. I always say Sissy Ring. Yeah, that's, that's a sissy's ring. That's, that's, that's definitely sissy a ring on her finger. 
Six. Huh. Seven, Someone put a ring on it. That's, I was trying to remember the line before that. <laughs> I was going to be like, I guess she... And then I didn't remember what the verb it's, was. I think it's, if you like it, you better put a ring on yeah, it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm yeah. going to play a Fetra. Okay. And then I'm going to play Zulaport Cutthroat. And then I'm going to go to combat. Mm-hmm. I'll swing at Drew for two. Uh, I'm taking two damage. You're does, no Drew. Does Fetra feel good when you play it for eight? No. My it does God. not feel good. No. It's not yeah. a feel-good moment? No. It feels like... Um, the first time. <laughs> every time I have to pay to get on the bus, mm. but it costs like eighty dollars <laughs> instead of three. Yeah, that's time. rough. <clears throat> you go, Drew. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, this is the third time you've gotten the bus today. Now it's going to be up to twenty bucks. Sorry, you've just Ooh. been on the bus too many times. Oh, that would suck. Wizards retcon the commander rules so that they're more like real life. <laughs> so that I so have like a more like I, I'd like to get a monthly commander tax pass, please. Yeah. Can I get a monthly um, commander pass? I'm gonna so play, play twenty minutes now. Needle planes in memory of Joe. Nice. I'm um, a fan. Sure, don't remember me. I see how it is. I'm also oh, going to tap the foil planes? planes and the rest of this mana to play my slamander. Why do you do this to me? Uh oh. Commander. It's, yes. the, it's the big wiener. She that here. is my wiener. <clears throat> Look at my big glowing wiener. The oh. ween. Untap. He just basically he just he just it's tapped wrong. a bunch of mana and then a schlong fell on the table. <laughs> he just like. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also an avatar. It is an avatar. I mean, the last Airbender. I'm gonna play uh, Blooming Bush. He's blue. <laughs> um, Orbit at the beginning of each end step. If a creature died this turn, I can draw a card. Okay. Uh, when you when I saw a four mana enchantment coming out, I thought it was much worse than that. Yeah. I'm trying really hard not to show Brendan my cards, but I realize uh, that's exactly. I definitely, what I definitely like with the saw snuffer. your hand out of the corner Got of my eye. Yeah, I, yeah, I saw yours do a couple of times. Did you too? Like, you're I, like, I yeah, try and you know. Yeah, it's hard when you're sitting like this, like right next to. Them. We're very intimate right now. Ooh, ooh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Joe Sama. <laughs> <laughs> you're making me blush. Oh, oh, um, in my upkeep. Sorry. I am going to forecast Spirit and Doll and give Evra Shadow. Sure. Yup. That's a good keyword. Sure diddly doos. Uh, if it's your upkeep, it'll be after your untap step. Y- okay. Oh, are you at exactly 21? Yes. Holy fuck. I took the two and I did the math and I was like, shit, did I just really fuck myself? No, I did it. Okay. Um, uh, so you'll still have just... your two mana tab for your upkeep thing. Oh, yeah. 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 Then I play my opponent's card. Yep. And then I... Bronkin. Go into combat. Sure. See Swing with the boy. No blocks. Swapsies. Swapsies. Yeah. 21. That's it. That's he did it! Oh! Hey, Drew wins! <laughs> After being man screwed for the whole game, he comes out of nowhere, <laughs> just like our boy Randy Orton, <laughs> and just, oh, just murders a guy. Did Randy Orton <laughs> murder a guy? No, but like Randy Orton... You known for com- spread misinformation about Randy. Orton. <laughs> he, listen, known He'll fact: kill you. Randy Orton comes out of nowhere with an RKO, and that's what Drew did. Known fact, and I, uh, Randy Orton's intro at WrestleMania this year had two uh, augmented reality brown snakes coiled at the top of the ramp. Randy Orton <laughs> kills snakes. I know. Drew, oh. Randy Orton. Drew is Randy Orton. It was made to be confirmed. Made, confirmed Drew is okay. the Canadian Randy Orton. All right. uh, thanks for joining us uh, and sticking to the end of the episode. I think we're going to have a little video outro. Okay. So maybe watch that now. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Watch, uh, watch all of 